Each stage of the surgery and recovery process is important to its ultimate success, but after you leave the hospital, a lot will depend on you. Planning for your discharge from the hospital starts the moment you decide to have surgery. Most patients at New England Baptist Hospital go directly home after their hospital stay, unless otherwise indicated by the care team. The case manager will review your discharge plan with you and help implement the plan your team has created. If you need additional care, the case manager will discuss your preference for home care agencies or inpatient rehabilitation facilities. If you are going directly home after your hospital stay, you'll want to make some preparations prior to having surgery. Place clean sheets on your bed. Reduce clutter. Your balance and mobility will be reduced for a number of weeks. Make it easier to get around by getting clutter out of the way. Remove loose wires, cords, and rugs. If it can trip you up, it shouldn't be there. Prepare and freeze meals. For you and your caretakers, the demands will be significant. Pre-made, pre-frozen meals can be a big help. Turn on lights when you get up at night. Walking around in a dark room is too risky for someone who has just had surgery. Make sure you have lighting that is easily accessible. Talk to your surgeon before scheduling any flights after your surgery. Take breaks on any long car trips. It's important to get up and move around frequently during your recovery. Ensure your pets will be cared for. Walking and feeding them may be difficult when you first return home from surgery. While we love our pets, it's also important to keep them out of your bed and away from your surgical incision as they can spread bacteria. Pain management is a key responsibility you will assume when you go home. You'll receive a prescription for pain medication that must be filled by an off-site pharmacy. And it's best to do this on your way home. Post-surgery pain will feel different than your prior joint pain or nerve pain, and it will usually lessen day to day, week to week. You should start to taper down your pain medication as you heal and as your pain improves by decreasing your dose and frequency. It's very important for all patients to keep their prescription medications safe and secure from others. Any unused medications should be disposed of properly. You can contact your local pharmacy or police station or check the Drug Enforcement Agency website to find a location for disposal. Joint replacement patients will take a blood thinner for four to six weeks to prevent blood clots. You will be provided instructions for use. You'll also need to wear compression stockings throughout that time. Check your legs daily for any new swelling, warm or reddened areas, or new onset of pain, particularly in your calf. Notify your surgeon immediately if these symptoms occur. You'll be provided information about how to care for your surgical incision and how to identify and prevent infections. Showers are typically okay, but no baths, hot tubs, whirlpools, or swimming until you follow up with your surgeon. In the first few weeks after surgery, your daily routine will require adjustment. It will take concentrated attention and practice to learn how to safely get out of bed or out of a chair. Showering, dressing, preparing meals, and going up and down stairs may be difficult at first. After a few weeks of practice, most patients will feel their balance and strength returning, along with a new sense of confidence. For joint replacement patients, your physical therapist will send you home with a set of exercises and they will be overseen and reinforced by your home care team. Spine surgery patients can expect to be sent home with a set of physician guidelines and restrictions from your physical therapist that will help enhance your recovery phase. Since walking is really your only exercise immediately following surgery, most spine patients become their own physical therapist until further guided by their surgeon at a follow-up appointment. After surgery, you can expect gradual improvement over the coming months. You should expect less pain, stiffness and swelling, and a more independent lifestyle. Returning to work depends on how quickly you heal and how demanding your job may be. To help you transition at home, your care team may recommend you buy some durable medical equipment, such as crutches, a cane, walker, and commode. You have the right to obtain supplies from any durable medical equipment provider, 
If you choose, we have an on-site provider who can provide many of these supplies and deliver them to your room before you go home. Not all of this equipment is covered by insurance, so please contact your insurance provider for a list of what is covered. It's important that you contact your surgeon's office if any of the following occur. You have increased pain in the operative site. There is new or increased redness or warmth since leaving the hospital. There is new or increased drainage from your incision. The operative site is increasingly swollen. Your calf becomes swollen, tender, warm, or reddened. You have a temperature above 101 degrees for more than 24 hours. For total knee replacement, your ability to flex or bend your knee has decreased or remains the same as when you left the hospital. After four to eight weeks, you'll have a follow-up visit with your surgeon to assess your progress. Your surgeon will adjust your care plan according to your progress and will decide when you are clear to drive. No matter how much progress you've made at this point, for most patients, full recovery will take six to eight months, ideally getting you back to 100% mobility. Thank you for watching this video series. We hope this information prepares you for the process that lies ahead and motivates you to remain an active member of the team as we take this journey together. For New England Baptist Hospital, it's a privilege to be chosen as your orthopedic hospital.